Hello, you beautiful nuggets. Today I'm joined by this one. Hey guys. This is Anthony, my boyfriend. Hello. My beautiful man. And today we're going to be doing a Q&A together. I asked for questions on my Instagram. And when I say that I got a lot, I ain't lying. I've narrowed all these questions down into this little list here of the ones that's got asked Thank over God and over and over again. So, should we hop right in, babe? <coughs> yeah, why not? Some questions about you first. How old are you? 34. 34. How old am I? 26. So that means that we're eight years apart. Eight year age gap, yeah? Yeah, I think so. What is Ant's job? I work in finance. I trade currencies for a bank. Yeah. In London, yeah. Where you smell your breath? I just had a big smoothie. Oh, babe. <laughs> you garlic, had hummus. I've had hummus. You had hummus. I like garlicky hummus, guys. <laughs> that is so and strong. And I make it myself. Wow, that is so strong. Right, I'm going to tick off the questions as we answer them. So, we've done that one. How did we meet? How did we meet? We met on an app called Happen. Yeah. And it's one where you like cross paths and then you say... And you like see to the spaces and you can like say yes or no. Yeah. Would and you, you like... start a conversation. Yeah. And I liked your profile because you had lots of travelling pictures on it. Yeah. It wasn't really a good photo of your face though, so it felt like a bit of a lucky dip. Really? I was like, oh, what's what's the space going to be like? And then when you rocked up, I was like, yeah, it's, it's all right. It's pretty good, yeah, it's pretty good. It's all right. Yeah. No. 8 out of 10. I'll take it. <laughs> How long have we been together? How long have you been together? Uh, about four years? No. Three years. Three years. Three, three and a half Three years. and a half years. Three and a half years. Okay. It feels like long. Your breath is so strong, I can't think of anything but how strong it is. You are a garlic monster. Um, yeah, three and a half years. Three, three and, and, and a half years. years. Yeah. This is one that we got asked loads. What is your favourite and least favourite thing about each other? Favourite thing about you is, yeah. besides how pretty you are, yeah. how, how much you like to go travelling and how much you like to go exploring and being outside. Yeah. It's just important for me because I like to go travelling when I have spare time. I never have spare time, but I love to travel. Yeah? Yeah. So, so that's, that's the, important, that's the so yeah. common interest. That's a good common interest. And what's yeah. your least favourite thing about me? Least favourite? I wouldn't say it's the least favourite. Room for improvement is on the cleaning front. Oh, I knew she's, that one was she's coming She's learning. <laughs> she's learning. She knows where the bin bags are now. And she knows where the dustpan and brush and the hoover are. I'm Do learning, you? I'm learning. Yeah. I have, we have two hoovers in this house, one for upstairs and one for downstairs. Why are you telling them that? I don't I don't know. Know. You're trying to boast about your hoover credentials. <laughs> right, and my favourite least favourite things about you. My favourite thing is how Do least favourite first. I wanna know what you hate about me. I don't hate anything about you. But my least favourite thing about you is your less no. less than yeah, you're, you're anal about things and cleaning and stuff, like super anal, but that's not my least favourite thing because I've come to accept that. But I would say Science. that it is sometimes when we're having serious adult discussions, your communication skills aren't the strongest, but they're getting better. I would agree with that. Yeah. 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 So you know it. Right. But my favourite thing about you is, yeah, you're a beautiful man. But you're very like compassionate and when I was poorly and stuff, you really cared for me and I really appreciate that. You're very giving with your time and you look after me. You're welcome. Thanks for that, babe. Next question. Zana, would it bother you if Ant went to a strip club? I thought this would be an interesting question because I've got loads of questions about jealousy and I feel like I don't really experience jealousy so I feel like I can't really answer it. I never really get jealous about you. Mm. Do you ever get jealous about me? Not really. Not really. No. I think it's all about trust, isn't it? Exactly. So I never feel any jealousy towards Ant or what he's doing or who he's with. And I feel like even if we went to a strip club, I'd be like, yeah, look, but just don't touch. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You've never been bothered before anyway. What? <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll I'm... leave that one there. I don't go to strip clubs, guys. Oh, thanks for clarifying, babe. Um, but if he, if he did go... I wouldn't care, I'd just say, look, but don't touch. Only touch me. <laughs> right. Does Anne prefer you? No. Does Anne prefer you in active wear or dressed up or girly? Say again. Do you prefer me in active wear or dressed up I or think girly? you look great in active wear. Yeah? Yeah, I think you look so do you, great. So do you prefer me like dressed down in active wear, like no makeup, chill, or do you prefer me like dressed up, makeup, No, I like you dress? in, well, I like you in both. 
Yeah. I like it when we. I like. I really liked it in Dubai when we got dressed up every night. Yeah, I like that too. You, that felt nice. Yeah, that felt good. But I mean, we're not going to be doing that every day. No. Do you like me in active wear though? Yeah, I love you in active wear. He likes me when I wear leggings, don't you? It a makes you. Yeah. <laughs> cracking, cracking backside, babe. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Right. Your boobs are pretty good as well. Perky. Perky and all that. Do we want to get married? Is this you asking me or do you want to go first or shall I go first? You or? can go first, babe. Do we want to get married? Yeah. Do I want to get married? Do, do we want to get married? I want to get married, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. When the, when the time's right? Yeah. When the time's right? Yeah. 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 When the time's right. When the time's right. Yeah. yeah. When's the time right for you? <laughs> I don't know when the time's right. <laughs> do you want to get married? I used to not want to get married. Why? I just wasn't that fussed by it. Okay. But you hadn't now, met the right guy. No, but like... You hadn't met me yet. Even when I first started dating you, I just wasn't really a marriage girl. Yeah. But now that I've been with you for a while, I'm just like, yeah, I'd marry him. Yeah. yeah. What is it about marriage that draws you towards being married? I don't know. I just really like you and I want to be with you forever. You want to lock me down? Yes, and nobody else can touch you. Has social media impacted our relationship? Um, I don't think so because you've always been on social media ever yeah. since we started going out. Exactly. So you've always been blogging, you've always been on Instagram. Yeah. You've always been, yeah. Doing everything. Out there. And like, I never really shoved the camera in his face that much when we first started mm. dating because I knew that it wasn't a normal thing to do and I didn't want to invade your privacy. And I didn't really get you heavily involved in social media until we were like super comfortable with it, doing it yeah. together, did I? So. Mm. I don't think I featured on your main page for about six months. Yeah, you didn't really. Oh, I, I think look, I think why you took note of that. Zana didn't want wanted to. Zana wanted to make sure I wasn't going to be a one hit wonder. I wanted to keep my options open, you know, ladies. Yeah. As soon as you, yeah, I guess that's right actually. Because as soon as you put me on your Instagram, then it's like you know, I'm taken. official, isn't it? Taken bacon. Maybe. But then you have to go back and delete all the old photos if we ever broke up. Would you do that? No, I wouldn't delete them. Would you Would you leave them in there? Of course I would. Okay. Yeah. Of course I wouldn't delete them. Well, I'm not that savage. How do we cope when we're both super busy? Um, we schedule in time with each other, don't we? Yeah, we do. I'd yeah. say that's the simple answer. We mm. just schedule in time together. We look at our week ahead, we look at our calendars and we say, let's do Friday night or let's do Saturday evening mm. or Sunday morning. And yeah, we we're both super organised, so... We, yeah. plan, we plan holidays probably like 12 months in advance. Yeah, minimum. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we plan weekends like two months in advance. We're just super organised. So we just put stuff in so we make sure we have time together. Mm. Give us an example of an issue that you have overcome together. Oh, what about your bowel surgery? That's a good example. Oh, we have it? a few more questions about that bowel surgery. So let's just move on to those questions because that relates to the same thing. Okay. What was Ant's first reaction to finding out how ill you were? I don't know what your reaction was because Steph told you. Uh, yeah, I was I was shocked actually because it went from thinking that Zana had really bad constipation or something. I was playing it down. And yeah, I thought it was just going to be fine. And then I think Steph texted me or called me and said she could potentially have a cut from her chest all the way down to her pubic bone pubic bone and i thought wow it's pretty serious and then she texts me saying she's going into surgery and i was like wow and this is all in the space of a few hours and then, and then i was like okay it's serious i need to go yeah and then what has bowel surgery taught us um well, I don't, I mean, it's taught us both a lot, really. I mean, but I mean, in our relationship, I, what have Okay, I, I feel like we're, it's definitely brought us closer together. Definitely. I feel like, definitely. I mean, every cloud has a silver lining. So. Oh, I would say that the fact that we've become so much closer is definitely a positive from the whole bowel stage. I mean, I've, I've learned a lot as well, just from your, your experience, that life is like, way too short to mm -hmm. be worried about someone jumping in front of you in on the underground or you know road rage, and, things road like rage that. and yeah stuff like that being stuck in the queue for a coffee or i don't know just gives you perspective yeah it? puts everything into perspective it does so i think it's definitely like made us closer what i've learned is like ants the guy that i want to be with forever because you were just so loving and compassionate and sweet and you really cared for me when i was poorly and i really appreciated I did, it babe i'm compassionate and loving and caring <laughs> 
And all those yeah. things and more. <laughs> wow. You're just a 10 out of 10, aren't you, babe? I'd like to think so, yeah. Is Ant vegan is the next question. I wouldn't categorise myself as being vegan, but I am mostly vegan, I would say. I'm probably yeah. about 90% vegan. This is how I feel about myself. I'd say I'm more like 95%. Yeah. I'm a little bit closer to being vegan. But I just say that, like, we don't like to use the word vegan, but we pretty much are. And, like, mm. when we're at home, we eat 100% vegan, don't we? Yeah, we don't buy mayo. We and don't, don't buy, buy butter yeah. or eggs or anything. We literally just eat 100% mm. vegan at home. Um, so it's like when we're travelling or something, things might slip. But, yeah. yeah. Or if I'm out and about, then I'll have a cupcake. Oh, or, yeah. Or three. Yeah, Ant likes to have baked goods. So I'm like, I just feel pretty chill about it. And I feel like I got a few questions saying, do I mind that Ant isn't 100% vegan? Of course I don't mind he's not 100% vegan because I'm not 100% vegan. So yeah, together, we're both just like mostly vegan. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. And the reason why you're mostly vegan is what Ant? It's a combination of things, really. I'd say the environment is a big thing. Yeah. I do it for the environment. I uh -huh. kind of say it's my way of paying back. Mm -hmm. my time on the earth. Papers Documentaries, and books yeah. and stuff written about um, the impact of the meat industry and the environment. So that's a huge um, motivator, motivation yeah, for me. Um, animal welfare, obviously like killing animals and stuff is, is, a, is a touchy subject. Um, and health. I mean, I used to eat a lot of red meat and I've read a lot of stuff about what negative impacts red meat can have on your body and how long it takes to digest and mm -hmm. all this stuff. So, I mean... It's like trifecta of reasons, isn't it? Yeah, it's really a trifecta, yes. I'll describe it like that. Yeah, you like that word? Yeah, what is it, trifecta? Like a trio. Trio. Like a trio. Next question. How long after we got together did we move in? Uh, I think you forced your way in here around 18 months after we started going out. <laughs> Forced my way in here? I think Xana moved in about two, 18 months before. <laughs> two years ago, it was about two years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it was 18 yeah. months after. Eight, 18 after months after dating. we started dating, yeah. Forced my way in. Forced my way in? You invited me in. Doors open, arms wide, Anthony Moore. How long were we together before we said, I love you? Um, Three months. Something like that, yeah. Two, three months. It was in Rome. It was on a bench. On in, a bench in Piazza that? del Popolo. Yeah, I think if there any Italians watching this, that will be, they'll be like, you've Very just butchered my language. But um, yeah, we said I love you in Rome like after three months and it was really cute, wasn't it? I bought you a rose, didn't I? You did. I bought you a rose really and there's a guy with blowing bubbles on his thing. Yeah. Oh, look at you remembering all the little details, you cute one. So we have to address the height difference because that is like the most frequently asked question we got. So. The fact that I'm taller than you, does it bother you? In a word, no. Fact is, you're tall. Fact is, I'm short. And that's the facts. We don't really care. Love is love. Next up, we have what are your love languages? So if you don't know what love languages are, give it a cheeky Google. But my love language is definitely words of affirmation. I'm not good with words of affirmation. And your love language is... Acts of service. And I'm not that good with acts of service. So we're on a learning curve of learning how to cater to each other's love languages. <laughs> <laughs> Three and a half years in, still learning. What impact have we had on each other? What's one thing that what you, you say that I've like impacted you? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be mainly vegan. You wouldn't have opened my eyes about what's happening in the world, I guess. I like that thanks, impact. Thanks to your passion for... Animals um, on the planet. Mm. And I'd say the way that you've changed me is you've made me just a, a little bit less selfish and self-absorbed. Look at your face. That face says... What? No, I haven't. You're still selfish, are you? Still well selfish, babe. No, I'm, I'm joking. It's a joke. Next question. What do we argue about the most? Um, probably... Like, stuff around the house, I would say, is the stuff that winds me up the most. Yeah, cleaning. Yeah. That's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah. We don't really argue about anything else. No. Not really. That's it. Where do we see ourselves in 10 years time in our relationship? In our relationship? So um, I will be 36. I'll be 44. I'd like to think we have a house. Oh yeah, we'll have a, we'll have a big house. Hopefully somewhere outside of London, not so central. Maybe a pet? Yeah, or a goat. Is that what you mean? Yeah, maybe a couple a of goats. A pet goat, yeah. A few goats? Yeah, pigs. 
That'd be nice. I like the pigs. I like us and Pete. You have the pigs mm. and I'll have the goats. Yeah, okay. That'll be where we are in 10 years. Next question is, are you as weird as each other or is one of you more weird? Well, neither of us are really weird. We're just, people have like different perceptions of what weird is. We're just a little bit kooky. Weird normal, but I would say other people would describe that as being weird. But we're both very weird to normal people. But that's normal for us. Did that make sense? I don't really think so, but basically we're just a little bit weird. I think we're both as weird as each other. We're even more weird and when we, we're like, around each other. And we like feed off each other's weirdness, don't we? Yeah. Like when you're being weird, I get really weird. We do take it a bit too far sometimes. But it's fine. It's fine. So that is it for today's couples Q and A. Did you enjoy yourself, Anthony Moore? I had a good time. Thanks for thanks for having me. If I on welcome my channel anytime, babe. Okay. Yes. Thanks. If you liked having Ant here, what do you need to do? Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment Please. down below. Cheeky little comment. Nothing too negative. Only positive vibes here, please. Anthony's going to read them and he's going to cry if you say anything nasty. Unless it's about right. my hair. I've not done my hair, so you can you can lay into my hair if I you think want. His hair looks good. Okay. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Have an amazing day. Love you lots. Bye.